More anger and hurt than, like, I guess I actually thought I'd feel. That Cedar Rapids woman spent the day cleaning graffiti off of her home. The owner says someone spray painted vulgar pictures and words on the outside of her garage. She bought the house recently and she's been working to fix it up before she moves in. The house is at the corner of Sioux Lane and Patricia Lane Northwest. A neighbor spotted the graffiti early this morning and police say they're not investigating this as a hate crime. KCRG TV 9's Phil Reed is live at the vandalized home tonight. Phil? Well, Bruce, I can't show you all, the, all of the graffiti. It's just way too inappropriate. It includes male genitalia and a couple of curse words. Now, I did talk to the homeowner earlier today, and she's very upset, and she hopes they catch the people who did this. Holly Meyer didn't know what to expect when her mom called her and told her that somebody vandalized her future home. While the 22-year-old has spent the past month remodeling, she didn't think she would have to do graffiti cleanup. I'm thinking that it's just like those two bad words like spray painted up and like one color. And of course it's like those two bad words and then a whole bunch of other stuff. The lips and the heart spray painted on the garage are the only pictures we can show you without blurring them out. The side of the home was also egged. Meyer is puzzled. I don't have a crazy ex, so I don't think it would be an ex-boyfriend. I definitely think it was kids, because otherwise, I mean, like, this is extremely immature. Like, I don't think someone in their late 20s, 30s would do something like this. Did you like them? Jennifer Minnie lives next door. She made sure her kids stayed inside and away from the graffiti. It's unheard of to see anything like this, and the vulgarity of it is ridiculous when you have children. <laughs> Meyer doesn't regret buying the house. It's not like my house burned down. I mean, I'll get through it. It's just the fact of the matter that it's cold outside, and I have to clean it. <laughs> Now, Meyer says she will install security cameras outside of her home when she does move in. Now, as I said, she did spend a couple hours, you know, just pretty much cleaning up all the garage. Now, this is what it looks like now. They pretty much cleaned up everything. There are still a couple of red marks just from some of the spray painting. But pretty much, uh, Meyer and her one friend, they were able to get rid of all of the graffiti. Now, I did speak to Cedar Rapids Police earlier today, and they told me that graffiti cases were actually down last year. Live in Cedar Rapids, Phil Reed, KCRG TV 9 News.